Hi friends, welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about what is Hibernate Reverse Engineering and how to do that Hibernate Reverse Engineering with the support of what? Eclipse IDE. So, first of all, let us try to understand what is Hibernate Reverse Engineering. So, let us try to analyze what is reverse engineering. Let us assume to complete a task, 10 operations are there, 1 to 10. You started doing them in a reverse order, 10 to 1, that is called reverse engineering. For example, you are taking a food, you are taking a food, you will start with the starters, then main course, then uh, rice item, lastly uh, some ice cream kind of thing, desserts kind of thing. But uh, someone done everything, but he has done in a reverse order that comes under reverse engineering. You take project development life cycle, then first requirement gathering, then designing, then coding, then testing, then release. Okay? So, here let us assume that is normal life cycle. Let us assume things are done in reverse order. First coding is done, then testing is done, then people started preparing designing documents, requirements document that comes under what? Reverse engineering. So, anything opposite of regular activity is called what? Reverse engineering. Sir, what do you mean by hibernate reverse engineering? First, what we do? We keep the tables because hibernate is a war mapping software, it is there to develop OR mapping, persistence logic, mm -hmm. we collect the table, okay. we develop the domain class, we develop the mapping file, like we map table with uh, domain class uh, and we map table columns with DB or is the domain class properties, like this we do in a proper order. Okay. But when it comes to hibernate reverse engineering tool, Mark my word, listen carefully. If we have a table, okay, this tool, reverse engineering tool, will generate domain class, mapping file, configuration file, if needed, DAO classes automatically and dynamically. This is called Hibernate reverse engineering tool. Let us assume I have 100 tables, I have to create 100 domain classes and I have to map them with what? Uh, I, I need to map them with a table in mapping file or through annotation. So, I am not going to create each domain class seriously, each mapping file separately and each configuration separately. Okay, if I give all these 100 tables to this hibernate reverse engineering tool, happily this tool will take care of what? Happily this tool will take care of what? Generating those domain classes, mapping file and what? Configuration file. There is, there is no necessity, there is no need of, okay, you creating those 100 domain classes, 100 mapping files, okay, configuration files separately, that is the beauty of it. If you do not have this tool, you have to create domain classes, you have to create mapping files, you have to create what? Configuration file. If you do not work with mapping file, at least you have to create domain class with annotation. All these activities should be done by you manually. But if you have it this tool, okay, once you configure this tool in any IDE, so by following certain procedure, we just get the table and based on the table, based on the other configuration, configuration file, domain class, okay, mapping file or domain mapping annotation, everything will be generated what? Dynamically. So, it will save your time, especially if your project is having so many tables and you want to create one domain class for each table, one mapping file for each table, in that situation it will um, perform the things very fastly. So, ultimately, Hibernate reverse engineering is all about generating, generating HB domain classes, mapping files, mapping file if needed, not every time. Next, no, Hibernate configuration file, configuration file dynamically based on given database tables, based on given database tables. It is all about generating HB domain classes, mapping files, okay. why if needed was. 
Uh, if you go for domain classes with mapping annotations at the rate entity, at the rate table kind, of, there is no need of mapping files. But configuration file and domain classes are every time required. If you need it, this tool can even generate DAO class. This can generate some hibernate util.java having logic to create session factory and what? Session objects. There are multiple options. But uh, first and foremost thing is, okay. You have to install plugin here. If you are using NetBeans, luckily plugin is built in. If you are using Eclipse, that plugin you should arrange explicitly. That plugin definitely have to arrange what explicitly. For that one, net connection is important. From net, uh, you have to install some plugin. So then only you, our, your tool will be ready to do that what reverse engineering. Let's go for step one. Arrange. Otherwise, install hibernate tool tool in Eclipse IDE. In Eclipse IDE, install hibernate tool in Eclipse IDE. So, this tool gives the option of what? Reverse engineering. This tool provides the option of reverse engineering. Um, right now, I have Eclipse Oxygen. For Oxygen, still not there. But one thing I noticed, whatever plugin they have given for Neon, Eclipse Neon, it can be used in uh, Oxygen, Eclipse Oxygen also. Whatever plugin they have used uh, for uh, Neon, so that can be used with Neon, Eclipse Neon, can also be used with what? Eclipse Oxygen. So that is why try to know your Eclipse version. Eclipse flavor. Accordingly, you try to bring the plugin and start utilizing the plugin. So, shall we move now? Right. So, let us see the process now. Go to help menu. Here, what option is there? Install new software. Sir, I have a doubt from long time. When to use install new software and to use Eclipse marketplace? Use Eclipse marketplace to install third party plugins to Eclipse. Those plugins are not given by Eclipse people, they are given by third party vendors. For example, STS plugin given by whom? STS plugin for STS people for Eclipse. Those things you go for marketplace. Maven plugin for Eclipse given by whom? Maven people. That time you go for Eclipse marketplace. There are some plugins given by Eclipse people itself. There are plugins given by whom? Eclipse people itself. So, those things you have to go for what? Install new software option. I hope you got a clarity now. Right. So, let us go for install new software. Here, I am adding a new software. Here, what is this? Hibernate tool. Some logical name. What is the URL? You can spend some time in the net to get the URL, but already I have done that R&D. Sir, you are having Oxygen, why are you using what? Neon. I already said still they have not released a plugin for what? Oxygen. But we checked, okay, Neon plugin is also working for what? Oxygen. Copy this. Copied. Save, paste. Paste it. Save, OK. As I said, net connection is required. It takes some amount of time, no doubt in that. It takes some amount of time. You can see the progress. Yeah. There you please choose, there you please choose JBoss application development option. Choose and na, right, select it. If you select, everything will be selected, but we do not want. There you choose Hibernate Tools option. What option here? Hibernate Tools option. See, so many plugins are there, right? Harrow next. So now actually it is checking the possibility. So after calculating all dependencies, it will give option what you want to install. Yes, I have chosen Hibernate Tools. Say next. I accept terms and conditions. Nice. Say finish. Say finish. So now here it is showing the installation process. And once this is done, it automatically restarts the IDE. And after that, we have to confirm whether plugin is installed properly or not. Once plugin is ready, then we can go further. 
So, while choosing this uh, plugin here, do not select all the options. If you select all the options, it takes lot of time because uh, that I, lot of tools are there, lot of uh, options are there. Do not select all the options. Choose specific one what you want so that we can avoid the time. And if you are having dedicated net connection, it takes very less time. If you are using Wi-Fi based net connection, sometimes it takes bit extra time. Okay. So, apart from that, nothing great. Right. Okay. Eclipse launches one pop-up message to restart Eclipse ID. Once you choose yes, it will be restarted like this. Okay. Uh, once Eclipse is restarted, I'm just going to confirm whether okay plugin is installed or not. So let's see. Step two: confirm. Confirm whether. whether plugin is installed or not. You have to confirm whether Hibernate play, this Hibernate tool plugin is installed or not. Yes, let us see. Go to window menu, show view, not show view, go for prospective, perspective, open perspective, others. Here you should get a Hibernate option. If this Hibernate option is there, I can confidently say plugin is installed successfully. Plugin is installed successfully. So, be careful about the URL that you are using to install the plugin. Uh, if you use uh, other uh, URLs, wrong URL, plugin will be installed. Okay, certain activities also will happen in the reverse engineering process while generating domain classes and what mapping file you will get a problems. So, that is why please make sure that you have used proper URL, correct URL, compatible URL to install the plugin. Then things will be done in a nice manner. Right? So, how to use this installed plugin okay, to generate uh, configuration file, mapping file, domain class based on the given table. So, I will discuss as part of what part 2 video. I will discuss as part of what part 2 video. Right? So, Based on this video knowledge, you, you keep uh, your plugin ready in your Eclipse IDE. So, rest we will discuss in what part 2 video.